Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Well now, on the mystery motor, I've had about three people who have in one way or another guessed correctly on that motor, and one in particular got it spot on. Now, I'm not going to go into any more on that until I do a video on that motor. So I'm going to leave folks hanging just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a bit more. Because I want to get it in here and uh, get a fax check done on it and then hopefully it's going to run for us. So I'm not going to reveal it just yet. You got to wait. You got to wait. I know. Hey, I want to give a big shout out to uh, G.R. Finch in Savannah, Georgia. And a Paul Frosch, Paul Frosch, from Denmark. Big shout out to you. Thanks for tuning in. So, a little bit longer on the mystery mode. Some good guessing going on, folks. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers who are stopping in. Thank you. Um, it is just a gorgeous day out here. Keep an eye on that. Looks like a yellow jacket flying around down there. Leave me alone. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna. I've got two or three things going on out here, some painting and priming and and some uh, just good old outboard stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, on this 30 Johnson that I just trucked in here. I think I'm just going to stick a gas hose on it. Since I'm all set up for that anyway, after doing the little 15 horsepower Evinrude, I've got this 30 Johnson in the tank, and it's a clean looking motor, and the guy that brought it to me, a real good customer of mine, he uh, he don't know nothing about it. All he knows is that uh, the fella that had this one, a 15 Evinrude and a 4.5 Evinrude, was going to throw them away. 
You ever heard of something so stupid? That's what he was going to do. So he's like, hey, will not you give me a hand loading these in the truck? I can do that. What you going to do with them? Take them to the dump? Luckily, my good customer said, I'll have those. And he brought them to me. And so we're going to just give this thing a, a shot of gas and see what will happen. Let's do it. There she is. Now, that is a stone cold motor. It may start up and it may help me pull my shoulder out. There's the old temperature gun. There's the top of the cylinder. And that's about the temperature out right here with the sun shining on this spot. So she is stone cold. So, let's see what it'll do. Okay, I already gave it a shot of primer and I saw gas go in there, so... Oh, she's a little salty there. See all that salt flying out of there? And uh, give it a rat tat tat with a rat tat tat device. So we know what we know what them dogs look like under there. Well, I guess I ain't gonna start it right up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is. Pull that recoil off. I'll be right back. Okay, so I popped it off. It don't look that bad under there. It's just all salty in the... Uh... So we're going to give it a bath in the old tank. All that good, yummy stuff that's in my tank. Then we'll free up these here doggies. Oh yeah, that one's got a, quite a bit of rust on it. And uh, so when they got quite a bit of rust, I'll just give it a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And a little bit of that. Ooh, look at that top nut. Oh, look at that. Okay. You saw I just hit that t rusty top nut with a uh, wire wheel. Then what you do, what I do, is I take a little bit of this core seal. It's a rust converter. Whoops, dropped my lid. And I'm just going to pour a little bit. Shake it up a little bit. Just a drop or two. There we go. And I smidge that all around that nut. After I wire wheel it, put the core seal on it. See a little bit of rust in there too. Put the core seal. You know, you know. Just might as well do that as long as I got it off. And then I just take some regular old cheapy lube. Hose down everything. Hose her down, hose her down. 
Work them doggies a little bit. Dog paws, I guess. Whatever they call. And then we're going to put just a little bit of grease in there. Put a little bit of grease on them pivot things there. They look to me like they're working now, you see, they're in the out position. So, now, I'm going to give you a little tip, a little tool tip. Ready for the tool tip? You see this annoying thing here? It's your safety interlock. Well, it's got these lawnmower-like clips right there. What do I do with it? What do I do with it? You can buy the OMC special tool number wah bah 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 bah, or you can just take a pair of old needle nose that you that you find or come across at the garage sale, or you know, you know, and you grind them like that. You see how you grind them to the little to the little thin bird beak. Then you can reach up in the bottom side of that thing. And then you come in here with just your bird beaks and go squish, and it'll come out of there. Tip of the day. There it is. Special tool number one six nine 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 nine. That's what it is. Special tool number blah 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 blah. Charge you a lot of money. Good. Special tool number whatever whatever whatever. Tighten all the way up. You know, you know. That's what I did. That's what I did. So now I probably have a hard time getting the rest of them. Ooh, look there. That looks good. Um, but anyway. Now, let's see if them doggies catch. Ooh. Okay, we're still running there's my battery dead. It's only showing like one and a half bars. Well, it's been so long. I don't know if I should prime it again or not. I think we'll hey I see a socket in there. That ain't my socket either. Treasures. I find treasures. I like treasures. Ooh, it's a Craftsman, too. And it's a one-half inch by quarter-inch drive. I often find the treasures in the hut, buzz. Oh, yes, I do. Who knows what else? I'm waiting for that big old creepy crawly come crawling out there to get me. Let's see if this thing will start. Yeah, spark plugs on. I have not squirted nothing in the cylinder. I ain't done nothing to this thing, but... Other than that recoil. Mm -hmm. You know what? The clamps, oh boy, that one's tight. It's tight. Better do that. Go.
looks like. If everybody wanted. Here is the thing. For you. It's an EC, so that would put it at Keep this in mind, what I said earlier. That one, a 90s, not a, a 98, but a, not about a 92, I think it was. And then a little 4.5, which I ain't even looked at yet. The previous owner of these outboards was going to throw them away. That is a nice outboard. Just looking at it when it first came in here, I was like, I bet this thing will start right up. Yeah, the recoil was a little salty and crusty, and it still needs a better cleaning, and I will do that. But uh, I don't think I want to make a video of us soaping up and cleaning an outboard. Okay, so do you remember the uh, little 7.5 I showed you that came in um, as a freebie with that 70 horse? So I uh, got a screwdriver and able, was, was able to get the bonnet off. And uh, you see all the creepy crawlies in that bonnet. all them creepy crawlies so we got creepy crawlies everywhere it's name that tune anytime or anywhere. Just look over your shoulder. Guess who will be standing there? Anytime or anywhere. Just look over your shoulder. Guess who will be standing there? Its name. That dude. Yeah. Um, there's some creepy crawly action in there. So. It's all crusty and salty. Little rusty. But here's the big question. Oh, yeah, this is what the spark plugs. <laughs> you see, they were broke. That one's full of something.
this one didn't look too bad. But the amazing thing was I took a hammer right there like that. Bang, bang. And, well, who knows. But check that out. See the creeper crawlers going round and round? See that cocoon right there? Uh, he already had it. But the thing turns over. So I'm going to take the first thing I'm going to do because I know there's some crawlies in there and they're always trying to get me. Little carb intake cleaner. See if I can run something out of that. It ain't bug spray, but I'm sure they don't like this, whatever it is. Woo! Come out. Come out wherever you are. <laughs> Come out. creepy crawly action. Can't even get it off the screwdriver. <laughs> but have some in there clean. And come out. Them head bolts are pretty rusty and crusty and dusty but I'll get my torch and we'll see what we can do I'll be back I'm waiting to see movement of that crawly come crawling out what well, once they get me I'll come in they come out come out pretty nice old boat I came across A little bit of vintage meets new. I don't know if that's wood, fiberglass. I think it's fiberglass or over wood. I don't see a name just yet. But what I mean by a little bit of old meets new, is this thing zoomed in or something? Pretty cool old boat. There's the old meats. Got the E Tech 90 on it. Nice four blade prop. Well, I guess you got to steer it from inside or something. <laughs> At least I don't see no steering wheel. What I'm filming right now, I can't even see, really. Interesting. Little old meets new. Oh, was there a make on the back of that thing? No. I don't see a, a name on it anywhere. But I think it's an old wooden boat with maybe a layer. I don't know if it's just straight wood or plywood or... I don't see a name on it anywhere. But I guess you steer from the inside. You got windshield wipers and so forth. Got a canvas top, bimini type thing on it. Old meets new. 
Neat looking old boat with an E-Tech 90. So I pop the head off. I pop that head. I pop that head like a teenage pimple. And uh, I was surprised the head bolts came out very easy. The head gasket. Let me peel that off, I think. Yeah. The gasket's in real good shape. says right there, barely read it, right there. Do not use sealer. But, you know, um, you can see all the salt in around the T-stat here, and there's definitely some salt up in the T-stat area here. But, if you look at those cylinders, they're not at all half bad. And she's a salty for sure, but those cylinders, little stainage, little teeny spot there, but they're in. <laughs> this engine kind of fooled me for sure. I think a light honing there with the little dingle bell, dingle ball, dingle, jingle bell honer. I think it'll, uh. Gosh, I think it'll be a, uh, a usable power head. And the reason why I say that is that, oh, it's been a, several videos ago, but a guy brought me in this same model that threw a rod, a con rod, through the side of it. And if I remember right, and I'm going to go look here, and if I can find it, I'll film it for you. It was in a lot better shape than this lower. I mean, not that this lower is real bad, it's just the uh, very tip. Of the uh, skeg is broke, but I can do the, the old Cody Bass skeg repair on that in 15 minutes. So, um, golly, 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 gee, Eve. I think this thing might uh, be savable. They're such simple little constructs. This one, I did the uh. Evan Root serial number, and it's an 83, I do believe. So, CT, I think that's an 83. So, yeah, she's got some salty walty here and there, but I get on it with the old garden hose, get that carby, flush this block, elbow geese, a little bit of earling. I think this thing might pop back. I'll be right back. I'm going to go look for that other one. Well, I think this little guy right here might be salvageable. Um, I was surprised, as rusty and salty as it as it is, how uh, easy the head bolts came out and uh, the CDI unit top bolt came out and just it came right apart. And the cylinders don't look that bad, so I'll get things cleaned up, give it a quick dingle ball hone, and then. Uh, We'll see what kind of compression she gets. And uh, so it's getting laid out here. It's a beautiful day though. And uh, I got a few other things I need to take care of before this beautiful sunshine in the land of the midnight sky goes away. So that's gonna be a wrap on this one. And it's great when you hear kids playing out at about 10, 30, 11 at night. So, that is a wrap, and as always, that's one more hat from Cody. Thanks for watching. More outboard fun is a coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.